Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the world of Champion. Today, I would love to show you a quick makeup tutorial, all natural, all organic, good for your skin. I'm gonna make it as quick as possible. I'm just gonna show you how to use the skin saver, how I do a natural look on my face and how it's used in combination with other products. So we're gonna start with a base and I personally love the facial primer. It's the long lasting commitment. If you are looking for another kind, it's the Meteorites, Meteorites by Guarlian, love their brand. But this just really mattifies. Plus there's rose extract in here and zinc and um, calamine, all the good things that help prevent breakouts and so forth. So I just prime it everywhere so that there's no shine. All organic, all natural. Then I'm going to apply the median skin saver. This is like what I love to call the five in one. Protects your face, helps that glow. I'm median, but I'm gonna show you what it's like to have all of them on my skin right now. So this is the neutral. This is for usually men or people who don't like any kind of color. That's the neutral. Now, the light, I usually use underneath my eyes. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. The light skin saver. And let me show you the dark. Now, typically when I get a tan, I love the dark. If you're at the beach, you can use it safe enough for your kids. It provides you a good sun protection. So that's dark, light. Oops, I forgot to show you the one that's actually mine. And this is the median. You can't see it because it blends perfectly. Yeah. So those are the, all the different shades. Now I do use the dark for contour. And what you wanna do again, you wanna pat it. Obviously that's not my color. So let me wipe that off. But what you wanna do is you just wanna pat it. So I take the median. It'll give you that glow, that sun protection. It helps you with your anti-aging and the color comes from floral, herbal, and botanical pigments. So they're even good for your skin. If you want to know what color, what botanical colors, what skin saver, just comment below and I'm happy to answer all of your questions. So just tap it into your skin. Now, before I did this, I do want to tell you, I used the frequency wand that really helps just plump up my skin, get that blood circulation going. It's super nice. And then underneath my eyes. So now that I have the skin saver everywhere, now that I have the skin saver everywhere, like you see, very easy to apply. I take the Panacea Potion Youth Longevity Serum and I put it underneath my eyes just for that um, plumpness and to even out any kind of like fine lines I may have. Just like this. And then I just take my Jade Roller and I do this very quickly since I told you this video is going to be short. And then I apply under eye concealer. So I like to use IT Cosmetics Bye Bye. Mine is medium 20. It's very pretty natural compared to other products out there. And I just put it right underneath here. Um, I try not to do it out in the outer corners so that it doesn't go into my creases when I'm smiling all day long. And of course, I have to get the travel size because I love everything miniature as I will show you <laughs> as I go through this. As I travel and I live a very remote lifestyle, that is the best thing for me. So now I'm just gonna take a brush like this and I will use, I love to use no color whatsoever because I do want my skin to breathe. And this is the Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder. It's very natural. Uh, if you want it to be even more natural, just take some rice powder, 
pat it on your face and you will not shine all day, but you do want your skin to be moisturized. Just that's what the Skin Saver does for you. It gives you that nice moisturized look. Plus it protects your skin. It gives you anti-aging properties. And I do tap a little bit right here so that there's no shine. There we have it. Then I take the Vapor um, blush, just the blush brush. And I tap it right here, bam, just like that. <laughs> and now for the eyeshadow. So now that my skin's done, then I take, I love, like it is probably the closest thing to natural cosmetics that exist on the market. Um, in Sephora, I would say, um, and Tatcha, but Tatcha doesn't make a lot of cosmetics. So they obviously Ulta is not open. So just I line my brows just like this. Just like to define them, they're already very thick. So let me just get close up and personal here so you could see. Just like that. I haven't done my eyebrows in a while. <laughs> Damn, okay. Now, so for the eyeshadow, here most people would like to stop, but again, it's natural, so we're gonna just do a little bit. We're gonna put some primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Anti-Aging one, it's the purple one. And I just apply it with my fingers. They say, just like a massage, Everything is better when you apply it with your fingers. The only thing that I do use brushes for is when I apply eyeshadow because your fingers, they have all kinds of oils on them and we don't want that. So I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Naked Pal Palette and I'm going to be taking a fluffy-esque brush and I'm gonna take like a gold half baked mixed with smog and I'm just gonna tap it lightly. Oh, before I do that, I do have something lovely that you can put on right before and it's the Gosh Lumi Drops. And I got this from uh, Vancouver, Canada. They have a lot of natural products. Just take a little bit like this and then you can put it in and give you that nice dew on top. So beautiful gonna show you so you don't need a lot of eyeshadow and this doesn't have to be perfect because when you apply the top layer now take your half-baked palette and now you apply it and then it just sets and it's beautiful luminescent that's what we love like that and always go past your crease like right there okay so I always just like fluff it out right underneath my the arch of my brow and then what I like to do, you could take a black eyeliner, you could take a brown. I do love um, Marcel, but that's not available here in the United States. So I like, I think it's AO color. You could get, I got this at Ulta, it's just a very thin line eyeliner. I do like to use brown, um, but I, what I would recommend for you is when you take your eyeliner you just make a line as, as like you're the last lash line the last eyelash of your eye just like that and it looks very natural you're not lining your whole eyes and then this is the tip right here so take whatever is your hair color so mine is red yours could be brown if it's blonde uh, you could use like 
maybe more so whatever color your eyes are so my eyes have like a hint of their hazel reddish so i take this heat from again miniature size naked palette the petite heat and i take the heist color mixed with stride so these two as you can see they put in some damage on them and you take the tip of your like a little thin brush like this and you just line over that line where you just created the dark um, black or brown and you just line the upper half of your eye for that fabulous definition just so like your eyes look awake and it doesn't look like you have like loads of makeup on again it's all natural we do it on the other side as well and you just smudge it out just like that and then I like to line the uh, lower eye lash line so I like to use essence I think that they're very natural and they come from the UK and Poland so I just line my lower eyelash line And then I accentuate it again with that red tones as I do have red hair and a little bit red tinted eyes. <laughs> Just like that. And then I take our favorite eyelash curler. Just like that. And you can either take Ilia, they're very natural eyelash, uh, mascara, plus they don't like make your eyelash fall out. <sighs> you can add lashes, but we're going for an all natural look and this is the best way to do it. And then you can just add a little tiny bit to your lower lashes. Oopsies. Just like that. Let's check. And now you are bronze. You have eye definition and it looks very, very natural as you can see. And just for a finishing touch, you can do is take the dark horse. Sometimes I take the dark horse and I just add it to the, just the very like fluffy brush just for additional accent, the corner of your eye. And this is a natural look in less than I took a little bit longer explaining but usually in 10 minutes you are ready your skin is glowing your skin is natural and it's ready for the day your acts are accented you have a bronze look going from your eyes and you know it doesn't take that much effort but you feel so much be more beautiful when you step out feeling ready for your day and your skin is protected all day long so plus it's glowing and of course you can always add the finishing spray powder if you um don't like too much glow but i love glow who doesn't so take care and if you have any questions comment below and if you love this natural look give it a nice thumbs up for me have a beautiful monday ciao